Assume that the statement, if the square is red, then the triangle is blue, is true, and the converse is false. We're asked to classify each statement below as true or false, if possible. Let's begin by letting P equal the statement, the square is red, and Q equal the statement, the triangle is blue. The key of this problem is remembering that an implication is only false when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false. Which means in this case, the only way the implication of if P then Q can be true and the converse if Q then P can be false is if Q is true and P is false. Again, for the implication if Q then P, we have a false implication when Q is true and P is false. So let's go ahead and label statement P as false and statement Q as true. From here, let's go ahead and list all the implications that are true where the hypothesis involves Q and the conclusion involves P. And then we'll list all the implications that are true where the hypothesis involves P and the conclusion involves Q. So first we have a true implication when the hypothesis Q is true and the conclusion not P is true. Not P is true because remember P is false. This gives us the implication if Q then not P, which is if the triangle is blue, then the square is not red. Next, we have a true implication when the hypothesis is not Q, which is false, and the conclusion is not P, which is true. If not Q, then not P is the implication if the triangle is not blue, then the square is not red. And then we have another true implication when the hypothesis is not Q, which is false, and the conclusion is P, which is false. This is the implication if not Q, then P, which is if the triangle is not blue, then the square is red. And now let's list the implications where the hypothesis involves P and the conclusion involves Q. So we have a true implication when not P is true and Q is true. Not P is true again because we know P is false. The implication if not P, then Q is if the square is not red, then the triangle is blue. Next we have the given true implication where the hypothesis P is false and the conclusion Q is true. This is the implication if P then Q, which again is the given implication of if the square is red, then the triangle is blue. And then we have a true implication where the hypothesis P is false and the conclusion not Q is false. This is the implication if P then not Q, which is if the square is red, then the triangle is not blue. And now let's go back to the problem where we're asked to classify each statement below as true or false if possible. So part A, we have the square is red if and only if the triangle is blue, which would be the if and only if statement P if and only if Q. Look in our notes below. P if and only if Q is equivalent to if P then Q and if Q then P. So again, P if and only if Q is equivalent to if P then Q and if Q then P. Well, we have a list of all the implications that are true below. In order for the if and only if statement to be true, both of these implications must be true. Well, we know if P then Q is true because we were given that information. We also have it listed below as a true implication. And we also know if Q then P is not true, it's not listed as true. And we're also told the converse of if P then Q is false, which is if Q then P. So because we have true and false, this conjunction is false. And therefore the if and only if statement is also false. Again, if P then Q was true, but if Q then P was false, they both have to be true in order for the if and only if statement to be true. Next we have the square is red if and only if the triangle is not blue. This is the if and only if statement P if and only if not Q. This is equivalent to if P then not Q and if not Q, then P. And looking below, if P then not Q is true, and so is if not Q, then P. 
and therefore the conjunction is true, which indicates the if and only if statement is also true. The last two parts are the easiest. For part C, the square is red. Well, we already know the square is red is false. And the triangle is blue, we already know is true. I hope you found this helpful.